Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football, a film deep dive on what I think is the best safety duo in the country heading into the 2024 season. Dill, that's Bakari Page and Rod Moore. And you talk about why that Michigan defense was so special in 2023. Yes, you had guys like Will Johnson, like Mikey Sandstra, like Derek or Derek Moore, Kenneth Graham, Mason Graham up front. But you talk about two safeties that fit exactly what Michigan wants to do on the defensive side of the football. You're looking at Makari Page and Rod Moore. Want to take a little deep dive into the film and talk about what makes Rod Moore and Makari Page so special and what makes me so excited for this safety duo coming back in that 2024 year. Extremely excited to get into it before we do. And as always, just want to say thank you to you guys and a massive shout out to the Michigan fans. Y'all know this is our team. This is the team we love talking about the most and the amount of support the Michigan fans have shown the boys over the last couple of weeks. Cannot thank you guys enough. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. More importantly, would love to hear from you guys as well in the comment section. We learn a ton from you guys. We love talking ball with you guys in the comment section. Dill, I'm going to give you the tee box here. Rob Moore, Makari Page, before we get into the film, what makes them so special to you? I mean, I think what it comes down to is, A, they don't miss tackles. And I think when you're that type of guy and you play safety, that's huge because you see safeties across the country missing tackles, big plays. That just never really happened in Michigan. I think the biggest thing, though, is just how much command they have of the defense. I mean, you kind of look now for two straight years. Mike Sandra still, Will Johnson, Rod Moore, Makari Page have kind of been the big four in that secondary room. Gone up against two of the best pass defenses in Ohio State in 22 Washington in 23, and, and neither could get anything off on him. Neither could really hit big plays with any consistency. And I think that kind of comes from everybody, particularly those two safeties, just having a control of the defense and being able to play within their responsibilities no matter who they're up against. And I think, again, you look across the college landscape, there's not that many college college defensive backs who can like maintain their composure when the ball's in the air, manning their assignments and just doing what they're supposed to do, play in and play out. I mean, this Michigan secondary, especially Rod Moore and Makari, they've done it for two seasons. I think you hit it right on the head. In, in terms of the two things that, I, in my opinion, makes them great, the one is the simple one, and that's tackling, right? We've talked about a lot of different teams, and the story always comes up. They got to tackle better at the second level. Michigan was first in the country in missed tackles, or I guess last in the country in missed tackles. They didn't miss many tackles. That's what made that Michigan defense – so special in 2023, and it largely started with the safety still. Makari Page, who I think took massive steps in 2023, the buzz was around Rod Moore. Rod Moore was phenomenal in 2023, but what Makari Page did, I think that largely played a role in Keon Sab transferring out. Makari Page, 6.7% missed tackle rate, extremely low for safety. Rod Moore, only 11%. The second thing, very similar to you, not only the command that they have in the defense, but the versatility that they have. You look at what Mike McDonald wanted to do, what Jesse Minter wanted to do, what Wink Martindale is going to want to do. They want to give a lot of different looks, a lot of different packages to opposing offenses. When you have two safeties that can do as many things as Makari Page and Rod Moore can, that's what makes it special. You look at the snap alignment. Yeah, both of them played over 200 snaps at that free safety role, but both of them played plus 90 snaps as box defenders and another 90 snaps as nickel defenders as well. And again, the name of the game for Michigan is versatility, it's disguise, and when you have guys that can be all over the field, do a lot of different things, that's what makes them special. Now, what I want to dive into first is the tackling. And I want to start with Rod Moore first. It looks a little different for both Rod Moore and Makari Page. One, you see Rod Moore, Dill, we always talk about this. We kind of have that inside joke. Rod Moore is just at the right place at the right time, has phenomenal instincts, and you see this on full display, not only the instincts, but the ability to tackle in space, right? Penn State going to try to get one out quick to the top of your screen here. Rod Moore not only sees it, triggers downhill extremely fast, makes a play in space. That is not a tackle you see many college football safeties make on a consistent basis. Rod Moore always seems to come up with those tackles, forcing a massive third down. That, to me, is, I think, where it starts for these two guys. In the composure and control of himself, that is just so rare. And this dates back to his freshman year when you kind of saw him pop on the screen yes. against Ohio State and Penn State where, like, man, who's this Rod Moore guy? And he came out as, like, a really low three-star. Ohio State didn't want him. And he's out there just – he doesn't miss tackles. He's in with the spots where he needs to be. 
And I do think you're right. Like people underrate how important tackling is because nobody tackles good anymore. You look at teams like Florida and some of these other defenses that are really, really talented and give up a ton of points. You just look, there's littered with missed tackles. They can't, they can't break down, make plays in the hole. I mean, Rod Moore, you saw there. I mean, that's a really hard play to make in space like that. Just gets on the guy's legs, wraps him up. It just like just makes it look easy, though. I mean, he made that guy look like a high schooler. I, I heard Jim Harbaugh say something along the lines of Rod Moore during his freshman year. The reason he played so much again as a low-rated three-star was he had doubled the amount of film hours as any other player on that team. And you know Michigan's probably watching some film. Rod Moore's a film junkie. You can see that on the field. This guy's instincts in terms of what he can diagnose, how quickly he can diagnose, very evident. Dill, talking a little bit about Makari Page, and again, a guy that kind of doing this, getting prepped for Rod Moore, Makari Page film review, Makari Page growing on my Michigan favorite list. And this is a guy that came in as a 6'4", 180-pound safety, put on the weight. That's probably the biggest thing you made, right? You fire up this play. Makari Page, 6'4", 210 pounds now, getting downhill, firing downhill, running the alley, making a play on, again, a very good running back in Nick Singleton. Going back to like Florida, you see those teams miss those tackles. That five-yard run ends up being a 30-yard run. You didn't see that against Michigan because those safeties in the back end didn't miss those tackles. Now, the next thing I want to talk about, and arguably I think what they do the, the best is what they can do in coverage. It's hard to find safeties that can match up athletically and size-wise in man coverage. And I think Makari Page really emerged as that guy for Michigan to take away those big slot tight ends. You fire up the film against Theo Johnson. Again, going back to this Penn State game where I thought Makari Page was phenomenal. Again, going back to the versatility. Makari Page now playing that nickel role. You got Mike or Rod Moore, excuse me, as your deep high safety. What does Makari Page do? Again, 6'4", 210 pounds, working on Theo Johnson. That's where Drew wants to go with the football here. What does Makari Page do? I'm going to put hands on you. I'm going to stick in your back pocket, eliminate that throwing window, getting off the field. Those are the type of things that I think Makari Page really grew in, and that's kind of what excites me about him heading into 2024. And that's where they really complement each other because, like, just Makari Page's size just makes him optimally kind of set up to deal with those good yeah. dead ends. You, I mean, Penn State was about as good as it gets. So those guys really both could play. And you just kind of saw Makari's length and the fact that he was like far more athletic than both of them, but didn't give up anything in that size. Like, he gave up like weight, I suppose, but just because he was long enough, because he's willing to play physical and get his hands on guys, did wasn't getting pushed around, was staying on his spot. I mean, really plays good in man coverage. And then Rod Moore, probably that better deep safety guy, just how controlled he is. And going back to that composure, when the ball's in the air, he doesn't commit penalties. He's very comfortable getting his hands on the football. Go back to that Alabama game. That's, I guess, I feel like is almost underrated how impressive that play was. When that ball's in the air, they're taking a deep shot down the field, one of the few that they did. I mean, Rod Moore just sticking with the guy, running with him, making a play in the football. He did that constantly, and I, I – Again, you think of those things that college players don't do. They don't pay, maintain any composure when the ball's near, and they don't get their hands on it and head around. Rodmore always did that. Makari Page, really good man. I think what they do complementing each other is very impressive. Now, what I think, uh, you talk about Makari Page, Rodmore looking a little bit different in terms of how they cover. You're talking about, in, in my opinion, Rod Moore being probably so having some of the best instincts that you see in the country. We said this back to his freshman year, kind of in the right spot at the right time, at the biggest moments, right? You take a look, Ohio State driving down six. We all remember this play. And who's going to make the play? None other than Rod Moore. Obviously, he gets some pressure up front. But it always seems like Rod Moore is right there, playing that center field safety role, making a play on the football. Phenomenal hands. Six interceptions in the last two years. I love what Rod Moore can do kind of playing that center field safety. And I think Makari Page, and again, you're talking about versatility. Now we're going to have Rod Moore working as your nickel. You're going to have Makari Page as your deep safety. And Makari Page showing that very similar traits in terms of instincts. He's a C center field safety here. I'm going to break on the football and make a play. Rod Moore and Mikey Sands, or Rod Moore and Makari Page fly around consistently in the back end of the deal. I guess the conversation you want to have now and a conversation that we're going to have a lot for the next couple of months, how does Michigan kind of put this puzzle piece together in the secondary? We've kicked around the idea of Rod Moore moving to nickel, but after kind of watching this film, 
Like, I just want to keep Makari Page and Rod Moore in the back end of this defense because you said it best, the command that they have, the versatility that they bring. You want to keep your best players in their best spots. Yeah, no, I, I just can't imagine you move these two. I think that is kind of why you're right. Keon Sab probably had to find somewhere else to play because Keon Sab's a safety. That's where he's going to play in the NFL. It's just hard to crack it at Michigan when you have two guys coming back who very well could have gone pro. Or I mean, of course, they could have gone pro. Everyone knows that. But they're back, and, and I don't see how you take those two out of the safety spot. Just because, again, you kind of look. I mean, Rod Moore, I, really good man coverage. I don't know that that's his best trade. I think his best trade is playing that center field position just because of kind of what you talk about, his instincts, his feel for the game, his ability to tackle. You want to use your, your guys in the best way they can, and, and kind of with same thing with Makari Page where – you kind of want him to have a little more freedom probably in the middle of the field, roving around, making plays, covering tight ends. I think they too, they both really complement each other. I think that's where they should stay and figure out who can play the nickel for Mikey Sandra still because I don't want to mess up with the, what those two have. That's, that's kind of where I'm at. Like you got, uh, I said it at the top, I'll say it again. I think it's the best safety duo that you see in the country. Jaden McBurrows, I think, can slot in and potentially Zeke Barry. Like, you'll be able to figure out that nickel role, but if you have two elite safeties, maybe the play at nickel drops off. Maybe the play at the other boundary safe or corner spot drops off. When you have two safeties, like Rod Moore, Makari Page, it's, it's very easy to cover off for maybe some inexperience in the early weeks of that Michigan season in 2024. It's a good problem to have for Wink Martindale and this defensive coaching staff. We'll continue to talk about this. Very interested to see how this secondary room shakes out in the next couple of weeks in spring practice. And Dill, Jay Sean Barham, Ernest Hausman on the clock for the next film study. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. More importantly, would love to hear some other players you want us to dive into, do some film deep dives. Appreciate y'all rocking with it, and we'll talk to you guys later.